Alright, welcome to Digital Toolbox. This is the Grasshopper install demo. In this demo, we'll discuss how to install Grasshopper, how Rhino deals with Grasshopper as a plugin, a little bit about the workspace and uh, what all the, the toolbars look like, and how to deal with multiple files. You can load and uh, switch between multiple Grasshopper definitions at once. And we'll look how to see to do all that in today's in today's tutorial. So here we are in Rhinoceros. We have uh, just a blank file open, straight just open this uh, the Rhino, and we will go to the desktop where I just downloaded the latest Grasshopper uh, Grasshopper file. So you can go to grasshopper3dm.com and download the uh, basic Grasshopper beta version that they have right now. Just double click on that, and this will install it for you. It's a very small program, only a few megs. Say next, next. It'll copy all the files. Should be pretty quick. Finish, and it should be all all installed. We go back into Rhinoceros, and we can in the command line type in Grasshopper. Now it says Grasshopper is an unknown command because we have not installed the plugin within Rhino. So to do this, we could go to Plugin Manager, press Enter in the command line, and Rhino Options window will come up. Under Plugins, it says Show All Plugins. These are all of the plugins that Rhino has just with it. This, uh, came with the Rhino program. To install the Grasshopper plugin, click on Install, and it'll pop up a, a window to load the to load this plugin file. So this will be under the uh, program files under Rhinoceros 4. In Plugins, Grasshopper has installed their their own file folder with their own files in it. So we can click on that and search for just Grasshopper. This is a uh, RHP file, which is a plugin file for Rhino. So we just select that, click on Open, and we'll see down here it has loaded it into this plugins window in the Rhino Options window of Rhino. So it'll say Grasshopper, type utility, loaded, yes. So it should be loaded. Click on OK. And back up at the command line, we can type in Grasshopper. And you can see it already populates it for us, so it knows it's it knows it's there. We'll just click on Enter, and Grasshopper will load up. This is the straight Grasshopper window. It's uh, within the Rhino window, just like any other window you might have open. We can minimize it, and it minimizes it within Rhino down at the left-hand corner. And then we can minimize Rhino, and it's uh, no longer there. So to go back to it, we'll have to open up our Rhino model again, and then the Grasshopper window will pop up. So the Grasshopper window itself is really pretty basic. We can enlarge it to see more of our what we're doing in Grasshopper. At the top, it has the basic file edit view drop-down menus. This is where we'll go to create a new definition, open definition, save them. Uh, different cut and paste options, how to view it, and then some more uh, technical technical things as well. Over on the right side, we'll see that there's uh, another drop down window that uh, works with different definitions. So I can open up one file, open definition, and I just have one on my desktop right here. It's a very small definition, and uh, it's called addition. So it says addition right here. I can also open up a new a new definition and save this definition to the desktop as well. And I'll call this first. This is our first grasshopper definition. It's blank right now. I don't have anything in it, but it's called first. And up here we can click on this drop down menu and go back to addition. This is our other definition that we had open. And then we can just click on it again and go back to first and this is the definition that we just opened right now. 
So that's how we can use different definitions all at the same time. Below this top this top toolbar, we have the buttons toolbar. And this is pretty much anything you'll need in Grasshopper is right here in its own button. There's different tabs. These are all separated into different tools that we can use. And they all have different buttons within them. We'll go into more about all these specific buttons later. But this is where everything you need to know in Grasshopper should have its own button right here. Below that is the workspace. We can see how that, that works in uh, this other definition that I had open called addition. Here are some buttons in the workspace. I can right click and hold down to pan. This is great if I have large definitions and need to get all the way around the workspace. I can also zoom in with a scroll wheel on a mouse. This is just like Rhino or many other 3D modeling programs. It zooms quite quite efficiently. In the bottom right hand corner, there's a little widget that uh, tells you where your all the buttons are on the workspace. So if I am out here and I'm kind of lost, I can look down to the right and there's a little widget that says they're all back down down to the right. So I'll scroll out and we can see that this definition is all right here kind of back at the origin. So uh, uh, the only other toolbar that we haven't discussed uh, is this modeling toolbar right below all of the buttons. This has things like uh, zoom factor view at 100%. This is what it looks like. I can also go to 50% if I have a larger definition. There's some other basic ones that we can go into in different uh, in uh, further tutorials we'll go into, but this is the the basic workspace right here. So now you should be familiar with how to load Grasshopper and make sure that the plugin works, how to open Grasshopper within Rhino, and what the basic workspace looks like. What the workspace looks like, what the toolbars look like, and how to deal with multiple files. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and you know a little bit more about Grasshopper. Thanks a lot. See you later.